everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you about a couple of my favorite Oncidiums. They're from the Wildcat series. The first one that I bought was called Jungle Monarch. It is a gorgeous flower. I'm going to post some pictures because uh, it is out of flower now, but it made a very tall spike, triangular shape, really gorgeous yellow, brown and white. The one that I currently have in flower now is called a uh, Wildcat Leopard and just look at this gorgeous spray of flowers. I'm going to show you a full length picture as well and some close ups but these are just some of the most gorgeous flowers I've ever seen on an orchid. The spots, the intensity of the colours, it's just incredible. The other amazing thing about this orchid is that she is fragrant. This is quite a spicy sweet smell but it's most strong in the morning so if you like to have fragrance in a certain room you leave this flower there it will fill up the entire room it is actually so so gorgeous i really like these flowers because they last so long to make the most of your Oncidium Oncostel Wildcat or Jungle Monarch there's even one called Bobcat there's quite a huge series but to make the most of this gorgeous display, you want to ensure that all the flowers face one direction so that when you display it, all the flowers are facing you or your guests or whichever direction you like, instead of facing all different directions. A very easy way to make that happen is to put the flowers in one spot all the time where light is coming from one direction. So if you've got a bright window, Make sure that the side of the flower that's facing the window is where you want the flowers to face. So for me, it's this side. And as you can see, most of the flowers are in fact opening towards this direction. If I turn it around, you'll see that only a couple of the flowers are actually facing the other way. And this is the light that I would get from a different room. So it's in my dining room. It's facing the big window behind me most of the time. And then um, the other light comes from a slightly different direction, but the strongest light is the light that comes in the morning and which all these flowers are facing. So it's a really gorgeous and easy to care for flower. I haven't had any problems with this Oncidium um, Leopard or with the Jungle Monarch. The Jungle Monarch was almost in full flower when I bought it and it stayed in flower for about three weeks after that. This one I bought almost completely closed about a week ago and the flowers are mostly open. There's quite a few buds that still have to open and the top as well. There's um, three flowers at the top that haven't quite opened yet. So I think I'm going to get quite a few weeks of bloom out of this one. I water it the same as I do my other orchids. I submerge the pot in water with a little bit of the flowering fertilizer. I do that about once a week and so far that's been working out well for me. The leaves are great, I am not misting my orchids so I don't have any spots. These Oncidiums are very very susceptible to getting black spots if you mist them and they're also exposed to sunlight. Those little water droplets actually act like tiny magnifying glasses and they tend to burn the leaves and that makes the leaves very ugly. So, don't necessarily mist your, um, your Oncidiums because it's going to damage the leaves. But otherwise, very easy to care for orchid and I would recommend it to anybody that likes these bold, bright patterns. Like I do, as you can see from my leopard print dress. Alright, so that is it from me today. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. And be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more videos on orchids, gardening, travel and so much more. Thanks for watching. Bye.